All hands on deck. Oh, I've been telling everybody, keep me posted on the typhoon. Fukushima, the sun be coming up very soon there. From what I understand, I'm getting emails all over. They're getting hammered right now. And let's talk about this. Number four, yeah, yeah, that's a major concern, but much, well, not much bigger now, as big. You know how much water is rushing down the mountains going across? Yeah, they think they had groundwater problems before now as you as anti-nuclears, advocates, as we all know, this is nothing new. But I'm telling you right here, right now, this is going to, this story, it's ironic we have the Fukushima awareness contest yesterday all over the world. There's a lot of great ones. It's ironic. You want to talk awareness? This story is going to go crazy this week. This is the thing that's going to pay because the water that's going to rush down there, it's going to inundate them so, and there's monitors finally over there. This story is going to bust loose so hardcore. Japan's science and technology policy minister is getting ready to brief the UN's nuclear watchdog on the situation at the damaged Fukushima Daiichi plant. Workers have been trying to stop the radioactive water that's building up at the facility from leaking into the environment. The latest result from Fukushima is the nuclear power plant suffered a 100% liquefaction. The core completely liquefied. There's nothing left. There's no hook. There's no remaining collapsed core. The core completely liquefied. Ichita Yamamoto is going to attend the annual session of the International Atomic Energy Agency General Conference. The gathering opens on Monday in Vienna. The minister is expected to explain that Japanese leaders see the radioactive water problem as the most urgent challenge at Fukushima Daiichi. He is expected to say that the tainted water is affecting 0.3 square kilometers of seawater inside the plant's port. As we believe these men to be manipulative and extremely dangerous. Luckily, they are also very disorganized and there is a chance they may never be able to ever take any action at all. He is expected to say that the tainted water is affecting 0.3 square kilometers of seawater inside the plant's port. But he'll likely point out that no significant levels of radiation are being detected in waters outside the port. One day some twisted son of a bitch is bound to teach you a thing or two about living in this cold, godforsaken world. But he'll likely point out that no significant levels of radiation are being detected in waters outside the port. Yamamoto is planning to note that engineers have been facing unprecedented challenges in their efforts to deal with contaminated water and decommission the crippled reactors. We imagine that in the infinite universes parallel to this one, you are still staring dumbfounded at this video. We'd like to interrupt this freaking programming in your holiday weekend for the biggest breaking news, the whole Fukushima thesis. This is it. This is it. I've been, I cannot believe it took me this long to dig it out. All the activists, I just shows you how Google and the IAEA is using a machine and throwing false information, paying out and posturing the machine. This is the most massive news, even bigger than when Fukushima happened. Here it is, and all I can say to Greenpeace, you scumbags. All I can say to the microbiology, you scum. As here's this test, 10, 1,300 miles out, full of season, and they kept it cover up this whole time, and finally a whistleblower has leaked it out. Here it is. This is the most massive powerful freaking nightmares everything I've been saying the greatest conspiracy in human history is listen I met a guy that I grew up with that I have friends with I haven't seen in decades he's Kevin I live in Alaska I'm in the fishing industry and I didn't freak and he says we had a long talk he says to me he's been doing this for 20 he works for the biggest freaking Alaska fishery up in the world he said when the northern cod coming last year on the northern cod kish he says they had little red burns all over them and so I says, well, you obviously, he says, oh, no, 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 I've been doing this for 20 years. He says, I know what a parasite is. I know what freaking the scars off the machines are, are in the nets. He says, no, these were burns. And this is a guy that has so much integrity that I know, and I've, I grew up with him. He, I mean, one of the most brilliant people I ever knew in my entire life. One of the most honest people I ever knew in my entire life. I take this. Gilded in gold, cast in concrete. As this study that comes out, this is the biggest news in your lifetime. This is thousands of times the GMO. This is thousands of times the Wall Street scam. One isotope, one single isotope will give you cancer. As I'm full of AML leukemia fighting for my life, as my gene was mutated via my father's, as it comes years later. 
I'm telling you, stay tuned, stay on tuned. This is massive, massive, gigantic news because it's where the wind blows, it's where the water flows, and all you people that don't understand my thesis and how I go and what I'm doing, this is about information into the conscious, through the ear, so it can come out the mouth. And, you know, if we had, if you take Chernobyl out of the equation, Fukushima, we got a pretty good track record on it. You're so in denial. One single isotope can kill you. As cancer freaking rates are off the fucking hook, they're going exponential post Fukushima. Oregon, you took a major, major freaking hit. Look at these new maps. This is the biggest story of Fukushima right here, right now, and it shows you how hard we have to work to even dig it out. To the whistleblower who re finally released this, oh, you are uh, the biggest humanitarian maybe in the last 50 years. Stay on tune it. Program, as you know, the uh, keep uh, constructing the tanks. That's a limited solution. So we need to stop at first the groundwater systems. So maybe we can do that. But uh, the another problem is the uh, we will have uh, highly contaminated soil systems after stopping the uh, groundwater, and that will be the next problem. And uh, the Fukushima uh, nuclear plant accident will give us the series of the problems of the radioactive waste. And for instance, the, uh, if we can successfully the clean up the wa contaminated water, we will have uh, highly contaminated uh, ion exchange uh, resign or the sludge or the filters of those kind of things. So series of the uh, contaminated nuclear waste is a problem, will be the problem. What is the solution? Because you told me in the pre-interview we really don't know the full situation there. Is there a logical solution? I know the former special advisor to the Three Mile Island nuclear disaster in Pennsylvania in the late 1970s has advised pipe it out into the ocean, this excess water. Is that a viable solution? And what ecological damage would that cause? Uh, my understanding, I'm a, a kind of expert of that uh, safety assessment or environmental impact assessment of the nuclear waste. And uh, from my viewpoint, scientifically or biologically, that will not be a big serious problem. But the problem is the uh, social psychological problem. So many people will feel the, uh, very, very anxiety or the uneasy about this situation. So, for instance, the uh, a slight contamination of the seafood uh, may, if uh, it is uh, found in the near future, there may be the very big panic of the uh, the, the market and neighboring countries. Uh, maybe so, but uh, in fact, the contamination itself will not be so serious. The problem is a social psychological problem. So rumor or the reputation damage or those kind of things. What is the long-term viability of nuclear power in Japan as lawmakers discuss possibly breaking up the monopolies, the ten regional monopolies that have been operating the power systems? What is the likelihood that nuclear power will continue in Japan? And a second part of this question is with China's ambitious build-out plans of nuclear power, what lessons should they be learning? Yeah, if we look back at the human history of the nuclear development, the almost of all accident was caused by were caused by the human error. We need to uh, put the emphasis on the not only technological safety but also uh, organizational and uh, institutional uh, cultural safety. This is very important. We should reform the nuclear industry and the nuclear regulation systems totally. That that is uh, only one solution to if we hope to keep the uh, development uh, pr uh, utilization of the nuclear power that is inevitable and uh, the same thing i would like to advise chinese government they should put the much more emphasis on not only the the technological safety but also again organizational institutional cultural safety how to train people to cope with the risk management or the nuclear waste management and uh, how to create the uh, safety culture this is very crucial did tepco not have that I'm so sorry to say you are right that TEPCO has been losing their uh, safety culture. That is an uh, ultimate uh, reason why we, ha uh, yeah, we had such a serious problem, uh, Fukushima nuclear power plant accident. That's my understanding. What is the future of nuclear power in Japan as they debate that? Yeah, it depends on the uh, how uh, large, uh, so, 
proportion of the, the energy use of the, for instance, renewable energy. So how successfully we can uh, realize that. So it depends on that. And also we should ask uh, nation, people, uh, should we ask, uh, go forward with uh, nuclear or not? So this is a very important uh, moment uh, we will have. But before that, again, we should rebuild the trust from the people to government. Without uh, creating or uh, rebuild that, we can know uh, nowhere we, sh we can go. So that is my understanding. Is Japan right now, the way it is managed, the, the nuclear power plants, are they able to cope with a, the potential of a second disaster if the leaks widen and the radiation rises? Are we prepared? Uh, yes, uh, so we should prepare, and but, but because uh, so this is not the only one single issue. So series of the problem we will face. So beginning the the with the uh, this uh, contaminated water. Next one is the highly contaminated uh, ion exchange uh, resigned or those kind of things. The third one is the uh, uh, decontamination soil. This is another problem. And uh, finally, we will face the high level nuclear waste and the spent fuel problem. We should isolate those kind of things uh, more than 100,000 years from the human environment. Mm. This is a very important and a very uh, serious problem for all countries who are promoting the nuclear power plant. Including here in China. Hiroshi, of course. Uh, thank you. Workers at a utility company in Japan are preparing to power down the only nuclear reactor that is generating energy in the country. The unit is due for regular inspections. By Monday, all 50 commercial reactors in Japan will be offline for the first time in about 14 months. Kansai Electric Power Company workers will soon begin lowering the output of a reactor at the OE plant on the Sea of Japan coast. The unit will stop generating electricity later Sunday night, and it will come to a halt early Monday. Utilities in Japan have asked the Nuclear Regulation Authority for approval to restart 12 reactors at six plants. The regulators began safety assessments in July. They say the process should take about six months, depending on the situation. The approval of local municipalities is also required before reactors can be restarted. So at this point, there's no date for when any of the reactors will be back online.